You're seeing live pictures now from Manila's Carina Grandstand. It overlooks a shrine to this nation's national hero. Um, this whole process has been quite unorthodox, but uh, you, for the first time in recent history, the mood is actually extremely inspirational. We can listen into the speech of, uh, of the new president, the 15th president of the Philippines, Benigno Aquino III. The mandate that I am getting as your president is something where we have agreed that we will bring change together. You accepted this challenge. You gave me this challenge during election day. If there is no corrupt person, there will be no poor person. This is not only a slogan. This, these are the principles and the guiding principles of this administration. My purpose is to try to raise us out of poverty, to bring justice, to run the government with accountability to be able to give a president who will follow the right and true path. I will try to be the best example. Um, just to let you know, he has been speaking in Tagalog from the very beginning. Um, it's, he's very direct, quite emotional at times. He talked about his parents, his uh, two democracy icons of this country. The assassination of his father, Benigno Aquino, in 1983, sparked the People Power Revolt, which catapulted his mother into power in 1986. Um, now it is Benigno Aquino III's time in office, nearly a quarter century later. His words are very short, they're very concise, and he's quite emotional. This is perhaps the most emotional that we have seen him in public. His message is very say, simple. Uh, Benigno is, uh, Go ahead, is, uh, Sorry to interrupt there, but he is, uh, he is following in his parents' um, footsteps, becoming the, the 15th uh, president. He did win by a landslide victory, uh, promising to fight corruption and poverty. You know, perhaps you can elaborate more on, on the challenges ahead for this new president. The challenges are great because uh, he himself said it. He, the expectations are very high. He's been trying to manage it. He's told people, I am not Superman. He has taken some concrete steps. Uh, just yesterday, he announced his cabinet. It, is, it seems to be a, a combination of, uh, of his uh, people from his mother's former um, cabinet as well as professional. So it was, gr it was greeted with, uh, with optimism. He also said he would form a truth commission and this is quite new, to probe and to possibly prosecute the woman he rode to this grandstand with, former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, who was in office for nine years.